Hi guys, this is the two converging lenses. This lenses and mirror are getting annoying. It's so easy, but you you get to make a lot of mistakes in it. The signs thing. All right, so here we we have two lenses, um, converging lenses. We have the object here. So they have a couple questions they want to ask us about it. So let's we'll start with a smiley face. I wish you good luck, guys. All right. So question number one is, what is x1, the x coordinate of the image and arrow formed by the first lens? <coughs> All right. So the first one is. Hi, Kevok. Hello. Hi, so it's 1 over f equal 1 over s plus 1 over s prime. Okay. Alright, so the focal for the first one is 1 over 17.9. Oh wait, the focal is 113.8. The focal equal 1 over... Um, now the 17.9 plus 1 over s prime okay so putting that in your calculator so it's 13.8 minus 17.9 power Right, you'll get 60.24 so s prime will be equal to 60.24 so this is the distance of the image that's going to be produced by the first lens okay so if this is this was x equals 0 so it's kinda gonna be maybe here okay right so question number two is what is the y one the coordinate of the image of the tip of the arrow formed by the first lens. So h prime divided by h equal minus s prime divided by s. So h prime which is equal to minus three point six, which is the h times the s prime sixty point twenty four divided by the s s was the 17.9 <coughs> let's plug that in our calculator so this answer times 3.6 divided by 17.9 we get 12.11 <coughs> and don't forget the negative here so 0.11 okay, the negative here means that it's going to be inverted okay all right so question number three so now we kind of have an object that's kind of look like this okay <coughs> so number three is saying um, where's the x3 so they want to know the image that's formed by the two lenses so now if we look at it conceptually we get light gonna come through here it's parallel it's gonna go through the um, through the focal point and then one is gonna go like this so it's gonna be forming an upright one Okay, so let's find this. So the distance from here to here is the 60.24. So we want to know the distance between the object, the new object, which is the image from one, the new object, and the second lens. Okay, so we'll do that by doing 86.75. Minus 60.24, which is equal um, 86.75 minus 60.24, and we get 26.51.51. So now here, this is the S now for the second one. So S2, 26.51. So distance from here to here is 26.51 ok 
Okay. And the, we have the focal point, which is focal point, the second one, which is 19.7. Okay. So let's find the other one now. So 1 over the focal point equal 1 over s plus 1 over s prime. So now we have s. So now we'll get 1 over 19.7 um, minus 1 over 26.51. 1 over s prime so s prime will be equal to so 19.7 minus the answer how minus our answer so we get 76.68 eight. okay All right, so this is the distance between um, here and the object. No, wait. This is the distance between here. Forget this. Between the lens and the object. Okay, so this is the 76.68. Okay, between the lens and the object. Which should be, if, yeah, it's kind of here, so... You know, everything, I'm estimating everything. So it's just the distance between the, the lens and the object. Okay. So, um, so they want the x coordinate. Okay. This is just the distance here. Okay. So if we look at it, this is x equals zero. So we have to add this plus this. All right. So the x coordinate will be. 86.75 plus 76.68 and let's add this to 86.75 and we'll get 163.43 163.43 so this is the x direction the x coordinate um, all right so let's get number four so number four is, what is the y3? So they want to know the y here, okay? We know here that it's going to be positive, right? And it's going to be somehow um, bigger than the original. Because distance here is way, way farther. So it's going to, it's going to, it has to be bigger. Um, okay. So we can do it by either finding the the m1 and m2 and just multiplying by it and then multiply it by 3.6 or you can just do the h prime over h equal minus s over this is s prime okay so we'll get that h prime equal and then the height is 3.6 no wait not this height we're going to use. We're going to use the height that this, um, the first image that produced here, because we, we were measuring from this guy. So the edge, the height for this one was the uh, minus 12, minus 12.11. And the whole thing is minus times the S prime. The S prime was the 76.68 divided by the divided by the s, the s was the, was it the 26.51 divided by 1 let's see so 12.11 times 76.68 divided by 26.51 and we'll get 35.02 and you can see that it's, it has to be positive because it's going to be upright here. Okay, these negatives will cancel. Alright, so I just answered the fifth question, which is um, real and upright. Okay. And the number six. 
the answer for this one was the um, move the first lens to minus 11 centimeter okay keeping the second lens as the same position okay because by doing that we'll get it um, what do they call it we'll make the um, the object will be here which is less than the focal point which will produce I think here will produce a one that's upright here and then with this guy and the other one it will make it invert and um, vir virtual yeah virtual and inverted well I think well if you think um, otherwise let me know and tell me if I'm doing it wrong. Alright guys, good luck. I'll do a smiley face again.